for the tagging. You know this cookie's for the bagging. Kitty, kitty, baby, get her things to rest. Cause you done beat her like the 68 Jess. Okay, you guys. The lighting is garbage over there. I don't know who would think that I try to film. <laughs> But I do sometimes. I'm in traffic. Anyway, okay, so I just left work. As y'all can see, my lashes are not done. They're about to be. I'm heading toward the appointment now. So excited. It's been I've probably a full year since I've had my lashes done. Though. I cannot be more excited. So let's just, I'm going to put this down and get there ASAP like Rocky. B-R-B. -B. I do not know. I feel like it always takes me like a second to get used to my face with lashes because I literally get them like once a year and I just hope that they you know look how they're supposed to look I feel like I just gotta get used to it <laughs> Hey you guys, what's going on? It is now Friday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're getting so much closer to the day that I leave. I am ecstatic. I am currently on my way to get my nails done. I finished work early. I got everything done I need to get done. As you can see the lashes are still giving. Um, I did tangle my hair, so I got my little twisties in. Um, and yeah, I'm about to go get a mani pedi. Much needed. I have not gotten one since my boyfriend's birthday. That was July. The first week of July has been over a month. Like this is really, it's crazy. So, let's go. <laughs> guys today is Sunday I have had quite the eventful weekend yesterday I went to this amazing conference for an organization called black girls in media um, it was giving but unfortunately I had to pretend lash tech because half of my lashes fell off and it was just really like not ideal being as though the conference started at 9 and it was 30 minutes away so I was getting ready very early, but y'all just take this time. I got my eyes closed at the wheel, but I just really need y'all to see this. So I'm kind of just taking this as like a L, like, you know, I'm taking this on a chin, but it probably doesn't even look that bad, but I'm like, no cap. Uh, a young lady reached out to me in an attempt to get her clientele up. And I looked through her page and I, I liked what I saw. Like she had nice work and it was pretty. She just, um, I, in my mind, I thought she just needed to get her clientele up because she's relatively new and because um, her spot is far from Atlanta. Like it took me an hour to get there. But I was really trying to support and she was giving me a discounted price in an attempt to get her clientele up. So in my head I'm like maybe I was just being cheap, like I'ma just charge this to the game, whatever. But if y'all like first of all, these are glued on by me. Yeah, they can they can yeah. So yeah, that's that. I've collected some, but I'm just gonna do a compare. It's only Sunday and I got them done on Thursday. So in my head I'm like, am I gonna go? On vacation for my birthday and be bald bald headed eyeballs out there like no absolutely not this is not what I paid for so I'm like you know what I I do gotta pay to get these redone and that's where I'm going right now and it's really unfortunate but I found a lash tag who was willing to you know take these off and give me a fresh set for 150 and I feel like that's that's really cool at first I was like 150 and I already paid 80 to get these done like that it's just crazy to me so 
like I'm not even tripping about it like I I am gonna let the let the young lady know like her lashes that she did for me were falling off and I had to pay to get a whole new set or whatever but like I, at the end of the day like I'm not even tripping I kind of blame myself that's all I said I'm gonna just charge to the game honestly it's just more so a waste of money and time like luckily I had nothing to do today because my hair braider doesn't braid hair on a Sunday so I'm not getting my hair done till tomorrow today was just my day to go pick up the braiding hair and um, the, the fact that the last check was able to squeeze me in on a Sunday, like I appreciate that. A lot of people don't work on Sundays. So that's where we're going to go get my lashes done again. This should be fun. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get there. Okay, so this looked way better on on the mannequin. This jaw looks stiff and ugly. <laughs> I don't think this is how it's supposed to look. I'm so upset, y'all. I'm so sad. Let's just look through the rest of the accessories. I really wanted a big hat. It just turned crazy. I'm just gonna go in there and be like, bro, I did my best. I think it's cause I went outside, honestly. Oh, I just wasn't expecting it to go that crazy. But essentially guys, sorry, my camera died when I was leaving the hair store, but um, I was really upset they did not have the hat that I wanted and the hats that they did have were like, stiff anyway so i'm like maybe it's good that they didn't have the color i was looking for because they were stiff and i probably would have just bought it and been like ill this isn't giving so i just tried to retouch up my hair i'm getting ready to go get my hair braided um very excited very excited to be getting my hair braided finally for the first time all summer and it's september like what the heck okay so i got some snacks in here and i honestly just made what I would call lunch, but I got my snacks. I don't think it's gonna take that long because I'm getting medium, but I mean, I'm ready for whatever. I have snacks, I have lunch in my bag. I'm about to bring my laptop. Hopefully work ain't jumping, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, yeah, so. Wait, are y'all ready for the like, is y'all ready? I don't think y'all really, 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 I don't think you ready, bro. What's going on, you guys? Y'all see my new bag? Hold on. Cause I know I just got my hair done. But do y'all see the bag? My boyfriend got me this. I'm very happy about it. And we're about to pack it up a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, <laughs> like... <laughs> It is my bag. We're gonna carry this in the airport. It's from my personal bag. I just want to show y'all like what I'm gonna put in, in my Marc Jacobs medium size tote bag. Get inside her. What's in my bag? Airport edition. Can y'all get into my heart? Like yeah. Any whom. We just confirmed we're not sure if it's medium or this is considered small and the small is considered mini, but it's just not the tiny one, but not the big one. So whatever you want to call that. First thing we're going to do 
is get some pouches because you know it's empty in these bags. I'm using a little Louis pouch. And my Louis pouch, pouch is gonna be my main essentials. A pen, my wallet, my Milani lip oil, love this. Then we're gonna go in with sanitizer, which I actually might clip to the side because you know we're gonna be in the airport, so I'm gonna leave that out. Carmex. You're gonna have your AirPods, of course. This matches my bag, which is so cute. A spoolie, my purse crystals in here. So our first pouch is complete. We have to make it snug as a bug in a rug in here because my camera's gonna go in here and my laptop might have to go in here. Okay, we're gonna use another pouch and go in um, with our next level essentials, more like your smell goods. We have a mini body spray, a mini lotion. I have my ibuprofen, don't play about that. I have sanitized wipes. So yes, mini deodorants. Okay, now we have all of our like essentials. Now it's getting tight. So I think all that's really left for. Huh? We are checked in. We're checked in. We're checked in. Okay, yeah, I didn't even tell you all the time. It is it is 11.48. So we're going to put a pin in this. And um, we're going to do like a repack, reuse situation in the, morning, in the mañana. Okay? Good night. What's going on, you guys? Uh, today is the day that I go on vacay. I am so excited. I don't know what to say. Like, can we get into the braids? Like, now I'm just a rapper. But no, like, I, <laughs> I am so excited. I didn't show you guys my hair. Here's my hair. Hold on, let me give you all the full vibes. Woo, it's still tight, baby. They be saying not with saying tight, and you, and you can just flip it right away. They lied, but yes, I got a heart part. I'm very excited about it because I always wear my hair like this. I always wear my hair um, in a side part with it tied like this. So, cute, right? And I believe the last time we talked, I was showing you guys my new bag. So, so, so happy. So, pretty much my boyfriend had... Um, the room, I mean, had the living room set up with some gifts for me, um, that he knew he wanted me to open on my birthday, but didn't, we didn't really have the space to pack everything. So he set it up for me last night while I was getting my hair done. So I came into it last night. That's when I got my bag. As you can see, it's full already because I wasn't playing with she. He also got me a new perfume. Um, this is by YSL. It is called Mon Paris or Mon Paris. But you know, I'm a bougie beat. So it's called Mon Pelly. <laughs> and it smells really good. Like, it smells really good. And it's super cute. While I, I also got some other stuff. I got a wax warmer from my mom. My grandmom sent me a car. My mom also got me some pajamas. Like, I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy. I'm very blessed. Um, I want to thank everybody in advance um, for sending me the birthday wishes and the love already. People are getting started early. My birthday isn't until the 24th. Today is the 23rd. And we're about to go on vacation. So... I want to make sure that y'all get all of the maintenance vibes, everything that went into it. Y'all know what I went through with my lashes. And here we are. Giving. And then the nails are giving. And the hair is giving. And the bag is giving. I love her. But she does make things difficult because I was going to take my medium selfie over there which fits a lot more and that was gonna be my personal item because all I'm doing is checking a bag like I don't have no carry-on so I was just gonna bring a personal item but my personal item needs to be able to fit my laptop case y'all might have seen it in my last vlog my Amazon back to school vlog um, I'm just gonna shove this in here because it travels on top of my suitcase but once I give my suitcase away to be checked I need to be able to slip it in here because you know they be drawn like you can't have more than one item and all of that so I really didn't want to bring the laptop, but I just feel like just in case you never know, like, God forbid we miss a flight or something, I got to work from where we at, then I'm going to just have to do that. Um, also, if I run out of storage, I need to upload footage onto my laptop, I can. So I'm just trying to make some space in here so that I can slip. I'm trying to pick what book to bring. 
it's like entertainment or knowledge entertainment or knowledge I'm almost done this and I really want to finish this so I can start Atomic Habits. So I think I might take that one. I just need to be able to go like this when I'm getting on the plane. All in all, I'm going to finish packing. You guys can help me pack. I want y'all to kind of get a vibe as to how I pack. I need to probably pack more efficiently, but I pack in terms of what I'm going to wear when. So all of my outfits are together. But I'm going to try to find a way to condense so that I can fit my steamer in here. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so here is my suitcase. Um, here is the steamer we are trying to bring. I'm going to remove it from the box and make sure the water is out. What the? Don't look like there's something in there? Hold on. Okay, so I dumped it. I think that's supposed to be in there. That's the thing that makes it steam, I guess. Okay, so I just went and got a regular plastic bag to put it inside of the it's like double bagged in there so it's pretty good I just want to make sure nothing is leaking on any of my clothes so the goal is to get this in here safe and sound um, can you please sit down I'm doing stuff so first off I feel like I want to try to condense how I have these feel like the pajamas it might be how I'm packing too I really don't want to take everything out and unpack it but I really just might so first let me remove all the pouches. I have a pouch for tech, um, for, for tech stuff. So I have my portable fan and charger. I have my charger for my battery pack for my camera. I have the pieces to conceal all parts of the camera. I have the charger to the fan. The charger to my wireless Bluetooth remote for my tripod my speaker and the charger for that. The charger for my phone is gonna go in my purse. So I have that and the tripod that need to be together. This is a pouch full of smell sprays. I have a body spray, shower gel, body lotion, sunscreen, and perfume. This isn't full, so maybe we can condense this. This is just jewelry. I was gonna put this in my purse. I don't like checking my jewelry, but I need to see. I might be able to squeeze this in my purse. So that's a good thing. This pouch has hair, edge gel, brush, edge control, scrunchies, and all that jazz. This pouch has lip. Oh, it's packed in there a little tight, but we got glosses, liners, lipsticks. All of the ones that I want to rock. Pretty much brown combos, nudes. This is not really a pouch. I have a, a cover up in here. I can't wait to show you guys this when I go on vacay. But because it's stringy, I'm leaving it in the bag. And I also have a brown bikini in there to go with it, just so I know that they go together. I'm gonna squeeze this down and try to make all of the air go out. And then I have my toiletries in here, which is, you know, all of your daily essentials. Ah! Wipes. Band-Aids, wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste, toothpicks, moisturizer, deodorant, two kinds of face moisturizer, uh, body glow, shower gel, um, soap, all that jazz. Okay, so that's all the pouches out of the way. Let's try to condense the clothes. So y'all can see it's kind of overwhelming. So just give me a minute. I didn't show y'all originally, but this top part flips over. So I did put the plastic bag with the steamer with the steamer flat on top of my person on this side of the suitcase I have my makeup pouch here because this is pretty heavy duty makeup wipes washcloth um, sandals heels and bags purses and beach bags so now I feel like we could close this Perfect. Now we just gotta, yeah, we gotta condense this part. So let's just get to it. Swim. I have swim all in the center. Pajamas are all right here. Maybe I can roll them. So this is the pajamas that my mom got me. It has a matching scrunchie. I really don't need to bring this, but I really want it. And I also have my robe because I feel like I'm probably barely gonna even really be wearing pajamas. But this pajama set is from Aldo. Let's see how 
the swim out since that's in the middle. I have all these cover-ups. I have more I have more cover-ups than I'm probably than I know I'm gonna wear. I have way more cover-ups than I know I'm gonna wear. Let's just try to stick to the rolling method again. So here's a regular pair of shorts. I'm just gonna start from the side. This is all the chill section. Regular pair of shorts and a white crop. I still like to pack or put the clothes near like the whole entire outfit so there's no confusion. This is another chill outfit. I'm also going through this because I just want to do a last minute check, make sure I have all the appropriate accessories and shoes that go with every outfit. So we have our pajama jams and day stuff. I do feel like it is making a little bit more space by rolling it. So we're gonna continue with this method. Okay, so you can already see that we made a good deal of progress and still kept it pretty flat. Now we have all this swim <laughs> to get in there along with the pouches, but I do think that this is a bigger corner than I had available, um, but we still have to get the swim in there, so. of truth. Let's see oh, if we could close her baby. Can just made me sweaty. I might take a shower again this morning. But my uh, excuse me, my suitcase is complete. Um, when I'm done work, all the wet. What was I saying? Yes, the um, my suitcase is complete. It is zipped and done. I keep it tagged because you know I don't play with nobody's kids and. When I'm done, all the way done with working, my hard drive, my laptop charger, and my SD card reader, and my laptop will all go in here and slide right on like so. When it's time to give my suitcase to the people to check the bag, I'm going to take her off and drop her in my new tote. And hopefully she goes in that hole. Like so. <laughs> I'm so excited.
excited, you guys. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please, please, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know the vibes. If you have any suggestions on packing advice, maintenance advice, please let the girl know. I'm in the Atlanta area. Y'all seen what I went through with my lashes. Don't have me out here looking crazy, y'all. I mean, now I got me. I got myself right. But don't forget to check the description if you are in the area and you like any of the maintenance that I received, whether it be my nails, my lashes, my hair. I will be sure to include all of those texts in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video once again. And the next time y'all see me, I will be on somebody's beach, baby. So, happy early birthday to me. And thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all later.